guys welcome back to my channel how have you been as you know for this review that has been following me on instagram this is the new brand name ashidemis empire this is just a collective name for everything i do online so guys for you to watch my introduction video into this new brand name you can check my previous video i made a proper video and explaining everything i am into getting my certificates my business name registered and so many other things like that so guys this is the new brand name ashidemis empire anyway you see ashidemis empire just that ah is it is this girl so sad i had to change name because demis is registered you understand so now the new channel name is now ashidemis food born up it's kind of long but with time we will get used to it you know so guys don't forget to check out my website www.ashidemisempire.com i just forget to check it out i have a lot of things in stock for you from um online shopping Richard, more advanced things anyway you, uh, you can order, you can order food from your favorite restaurant and every other thing like that they have so many not the i have so many things on the website as at the time i was making this video the website is not here up but from the plan i gave like so i'm just trying to use it it's not like i've actually seen the website you understand but i got to edit this video because i have to edit it before screw zones actually so guys there are so so many things for you to do on the website for you to show and another good thing is you can actually sign up as a vendor for free for free these days so many websites when they say you sign up and everything they actually charge for a particular fee not even small money some can charge up to 300 dollars i know of this nigeria website like that so i don't want to mention them but mine is actually for free because i just want to help businesses grow and every other thing like that so you're free to sign up on my website as a vendor chat to people you can buy anything of your choice and sell anything of your choice and so many things but hey i have my own rules i can say because it's free now you should not come up damage the name i am actually trying to build up i'm trying to stop what i'm trying to see so i actually have so many things so guys just make sure you check out my website today make sure you sign up as a buyer or as a vendor just make sure you support your girl make sure you order one or two things from me today and the funny thing is the most interesting part of it is everything is free shipping or what not like everything like 98 percent of it because if you're buying from me you're getting everything free 98 percent like for me everything is free but for most of my vendors you have to pay should be free you know they have different um kind of um things they sell but actually if 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 the vendor has something i think if the vendor has a buyer outside nigeria and she contacts me and if i have the product in stock i can send it for her for cheap for free so guys i've talked about the details of my website in my previous videos in my previous video not videos in my previous video so make sure you click the link below or just check the video before this and make sure you check everything else listen to everything and see you can know so guys don't forget to sign up on my video on my video for my website don't mind me so guys today i'm going to be showing you or teaching you how to prepare this um should i say look i don't even know the thing is i don't even know the name to give this type of stew or should I say egg stew or egg sauce or kukoyemi or let me just say pepper sauce for now. Maybe why editing and uploading maybe I'll come up with a new name. But really, I don't really know. You know, sometimes in Nigeria, when you are hungry like this, you just be like, what if I mix this one and this one and this one? Because this one is actually a stew. Stew is when the, you blend the pepper to be smooth, right? If I am right. But this one is just like pepper sauce, like that. You understand? locally made pepper sauce because of the locust bees i had it as you can see so guys are you interested do you like what you see so now let's get started so guys the first thing for us i always say is you wash your hands and i know if you if you've been a follower of my channel or this one you know the first thing i always do in every of my is to wash your hands, you rinse your pot, you rinse everything. So here yeah, in a clean and dried pot, firstly you have to dry the water, then you pour in your cooking oil. As you can see, you 
spray your coconut oil I leave to fry for some minutes then you add your locust beans aka iru just yeah you can get this in the market and even these days people have it in a more advanced form they have it in the dried form they have it in packs and everything like that so if you have the dried form what you just do is you just rinse it properly because they actually put it in the sun to dry up then you try and soak it inside water for some minutes just to make it soft yeah. everything so you just pour in your locust beans and fry in the hot oil not like extremely hot oil just to fry you understand you know this uh, locust beans even has this kind of smell like that so just for you to like should i say bury the smell or i don't know but you find inside oils that is actually giving it another flavor entirely yeah so it's always advisable for you to fry your locust bean first inside your cooking oil before you add it to your the main dish i hope you understand so what next is this? you add your chopped onion your garlic your ginger who cooks without garlic and ginger there's the few people know that all my videos majority of my in fact let me just say 99.999 of my videos as garlic and ginger because as i always say they are natural um ingredients natural spice instead of you adding so much of my gear and salt that has um that effect like if it's too much your body is not good so it's better to consume the natural so you add it to the already frying locust beans they stay together it's the glory of god in a good combo guys can you see that color change do, do you see how everything is just frying blending and Everything like that, can you see? You just keep staying fry. The whole coin, stay fry. You stay, you fry. You stay, you fry. You fry, you stay. You stay, you stay everything together. Even at this stage, I am very sure you'll be perceiving that um particular aroma, that special ab aroma from this combo. So the next thing you do is you pour in your blended pepper. If you're preparing this type of pepper sauce, when you hear sauce sauce that means oh uh, it's not like a smooth blended pepper so you just partially blend your pepper so if you're using the locally made on um, blender just um if you're using the locally made grinder that arrow if you're in nigeria or you're in africa you just tell the pe person to blend like not to blend it smoothly then if you're using your blender most people these days use blender nobody really goes outside to blend again except if you're just in the market so if you're in your house you can just use that pause option in your video just from mm, mm, like it should not be continuous blending you understand what i'm trying to say so just like partially blended pepe up you understand so now you pour it in you stir everything together so just mix together then you leave to fry on the medium heat or on the high heat see this they say before i used to say fry on low heat which i fry on low heat to make the nation infuse into it i think it's always still jollof rice so i might still cook on low heat but it actually does not mean see you cook on low it you cook on high it food is food it's going to get done and still have the same taste because most times if i'm actually cooking for somebody man yeah let me they delay as i'm putting on low it you still have to infuse there's this one of my i was like i couldn't even try i eat no because i just infuse it no it's i not like come up with the same result so all this low eat medium meat everything has come up when so okay. I don't do that low key anymore. Yeah. Don't mind me. So that's what I just think. I do it. If if you know this particular of rice, you know that that time like when they used to use tea and all, there is no regulator for low it and eyes, but yet that particular of is to come out what. So mm hmm So that's I end that it really doesn't have effects just make sure that food is done no but really depending on some food i can try to but me if you see the eyes to be stingy with it i'll be it to the rest of the time. so i can see everything is fried now that's it fried. you know what i did tell you as landmark for um fried stew or anything is when the oil starts floating on top so as you can see the difference compared to the former one the oil is actually floating on top now, so you add your stock cubes, you add your salt, you should add spice. I Me, mean, I don't really like adding too much spice to food like that. My garlic and ginger and locust is okay for me. So I just add my 
Star cubes, my choice, and so and stay everything together. Stay together, stay, stay. And can you see the oil if you compare the proportion of the oil, the cooking oil to the um pepper sauce cooking? You know, you can be like it's like almost ratio. If you just say two ratio, ninety eight oil to pepper sauce. So make sure you don't put a lot of oil in your food. So if you see some of my videos in cooking city, if you see the oil flows, you know as by your Obana and Nigeria, how you cook food and there will not be oil. At most times you just cook with a lot of oil in the food just to fry that thing very well, you understand? But most times when we want to eat the actual food, we actually um sieve it out. Yes, if I'm even seeing it like it's like I don't even use enough for it. For you. So you just leave everything to fry. Then you add your boiled egg. You all know how to boil egg, right? So after when you put in the cool water, just for it to, you know, pure nicely. So as you can see, I've added my boiled egg to my stew, and I am doing to stay. So anytime you're cooking with egg, the first thing to add is always add your egg, so that that, you know, that pepper can just like enter into the egg and give it that distinct color. You're a typical Nigeria. All this our book. You understand what I am saying? Right? So when you see the woman so maybe uh, any toti muta like toti muta, to sunwa, to swalu, to go, to ye, to ye, to ye, to ye, to ye, So that's why you always add your egg first, no matter even if you're using meat, you're using fish. Egg first, and I like to like cook with the stew or with the sauce for like so many it. so that's why I, I said i don't even know the name to give this to maybe eggs yeah pepper sauce pepper sauce with egg you can all just come out with a nice title i'll choose i can be doing the title title in the stack landmark is when something is done or something you're using oil is when the oil starts floating at all so can you see so if you don't actually know and every time you use your nose to why cooking so you can see there is floating on top so what I, use it. I didn't really like this pot but that was the pot i got in the um service department i stayed so i don't really like it so just stay everything together but okay because i'm not going to buy any protein so that is my boiled meat i had boiled meat boiled beef yeah i had boiled beef shaki chimicon con everything here you can see shaki you see, you know those cow intestine, everything. I added everything together. I found that I was cooking something, but I wasn't sure what I was cooking. And then I, when it came out nice, I decided to share. So I added shaku to it. I added, you know, it was a little from more, I did not add. Oh, 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 wow. I can't, how did I forget? So guys, can you see the color change with the um, egg? Can you see it's already changing? Just look at that. Can you see right there? So now after adding everything, just leave it to just simmer. At this point, just know why you eat. What you just want to do. Since the meat and uh, beef and shark is soft already, you just cover it up just for everything to just enter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't know what the meat is So. The other thing I talked about, I actually thought about in either using low eat or using high eat. I was like, what if I was to be in a competition? I was like, yeah, I have just one hour to prepare this thing and finish up. So I got to do low eat. Oh man, I have to increase the fire to the highest that you can even just to borrow other people's fire. So recently, I've been trying for this now. Lowering, putting your um gas cooker, your eater on the low is does not get the time the taste of it. But what the time is it is the procedures, the ingredients and the method you use and prepare you use Tofi Ferma Pitya on Jenya Sha Bobo Poche to Jenye Poche da Rosi to follow the procedure a hair. There is a fancy for you. So at this point, as you can see, I added salt. I actually tasted the maybe the salt was not enough. Actually, that was right. Yeah. Or probably from the meat I, I boiled, the salt was not enough. So guys, can you see everything? You stay and you stay gently. You don't just stay. I see the limit is there so that you don't break that egg. 
because that egg has to come out in full like it has to come out loading the in full so that when you are eating i are seeing that full egg in your this thing so at this point i actually added more meat i think i had some backup i had the backup behind me everything like no friends were around and everything you know now when your male friends are around you yeah koto share my mato bobo abai si share kini kong kini kong ye and this type of thing and most times when i actually cook i actually like to cook in like excess and actually store in the freezer you understand so i like to cook every time guys look at that egg just look at that just take a look everything has changed from white to golden brown i don't know if it's golden brown or golden yellow so i'm just going to cover this up and allow it to, to simmer 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 like that and guys that's it you see it's, it's not even different from the normal steel it's just for you to add some ingredients and just be creative about this guys look at that look at that i always told you your food is the one the oyster food and just look at that take a look what do you want to eat this one with now spaghetti rice what have you like yam do you know you can actually have this with yam oh my god if you try this with yam boy jam fried jam you can actually have it with bone roasted plantain like this pepper sauce is just like I don't even know what apple class is. Like you can combine it with so many things of the choice, just so many. Let's see. Just they and this thing is almost looking like okada sauce. Just difference is I do not use um green pepper to grab. I am actually still going to make another video, make a video on okada sauce. But my problem was actually is actually because of getting um green pepper around. You understand? I always get most of red pepper in Russia. So guys, there's even round about here. Sure you saw how to wait for that time. There's round about it. So I added all the kind this time. And this one that is long like this. I don't know what they to call it. Guys. I just added the cow intestine and the beef itself. Guys, this food was mad. It was mad. And this type of soup, this type of sauce, sorry. When you want to prepare it, you make sure it's partially pepperish, like kind of pepperish. Like just like the so it move will come out from your nose know, like kind of just not to pressure so guys can you see this you see that's not my phone you know that you can see how big that food is you know that there are some men in the house yeah so guys they did not even allow me to like take my time and take the pictures i wanted that <laughs> then we do fast fast now in fact they feel they even shop that food from on top five. i just had to take them and say please let me just take my videos let me just take pictures and i'll give it so guys thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumb up leave your comments below if you have any other ideas any option anything for me make sure you leave it in the comments and share with them so guys thanks for watching today i'll see you in my very next video please don't forget to check out my website on www at davidsempire.com make sure you order something from me today make sure you sign up you can sign up as a vendor as a buyer as a seller there are so many things on the website so many things for you to buy so many things for you to order so many things for you to sell so many things for you to just interact with like i just made it like a multi-functional e-commerce website i think we you one of its kind you understand you know what me when i do something i always do special so guys thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you in my very next video. If you want me to make video on any other recipe, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And if you have any question, any ideas, anything that you can know, that you know hi, can make this channel go, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. So guys, I'll see you in my very next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.